Hey guys. So I've got my prototype hooked up. Um, basically we, 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 what we want to do here is um, we're going to load down my DIY power supply to about an amp. It's LM317 based and we're going to see if we get any heat up. On. Ooh, that's a bit high. 1.15 amps. Uh, busy being drawn at the moment from the power supply. The heat sink is gone up to room temperature, but it's not particularly hot. Now, bearing in mind, I've already had it going for a couple of minutes prior to this, prior to shooting this video, and. Uh, only the variable output is limited to the LM317. The two outputs, the 12 and the 5 over here, are incredibly high current capable. Um, we still have no... Well, you know, it's not really warm, but it's not cold anymore. So, yeah, LM317 is definitely doing its job. Uh, I'm just going to drop the limiting on there now. Now, although we don't need... 5 volts on here because we've got 5 volts on the primary side I'm just going to run it around really need the multi 10 5.09 volts alright now we're going to run the current up to again around 1 amp and we're basically going to see If it picks up any substantial heat, there we go, 1.09 amps, showing 1.07 over there, it's close enough, I'm not going to worry about aligning that. And again, the heat sink is at room temperature, we've got no forced cool air, or forced air cooling on here or anything. So I'm quite um, chuffed with that little. LM317 based power supply because normally the LM317s get extremely hot very quickly but um, obviously I've got enough heatsink installed on this thing, it's getting a little bit warmer but still not hot at all, not warm at all but there's quite a bit of heatsink installed in that as opposed to this over here which is warm-ish uh, I wouldn't say hot but warm-ish uh, sinking an amp without its air cooling. So, yeah, happy days. I'm gonna let it run for a while, should be good for most of my prototype testing, etc.